Welcome to Louisiana Heartbeats. I'm Sudie Landry, and today I'm doing something totally different. So I think that we're on a brand new path of reaching outside of the box. Close friend of mine, and a lot of people who know this lady, Rose Hoffman Cormier, there's going to be a benefit for her, and she is dealing with stage 3 colon cancer. But what's so wonderful about being on this show is that this platform with Acadiana Open Channel allows us to do this, follow the rules, and then plug it like we want on YouTube, and from there plug it on Facebook. And it's a short uh, announcement to be able to get this information, but I want you to stay tuned because sitting with me is her close friend, one of her many friends, Linda Rose, and I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. My so, pleasure to be here. Well, thank let's just Judy. let it, Katie Anna, and you're so welcome. And I just love what you you said, friend of a rose. You are Linda Rose, and Rose Hoffman Cormier is a friend of yours. Absolutely. So let's tell the Katie Anna. Let's remind them who this lady is. First of all, and then why this benefit is going to be done. Absolutely. Rose Hoffman Cormier has been a huge part of Acadiana for many years. Um, I met Rose when she was a part of the Women's Foundation Education um, Department, and she would go out into the community and really educate community on so many wonderful, wonderful things that would that were for families, for young people, for adolescents, et cetera. Can you give us a glimpse so, into that kind of stuff? Like I know a little bit about her. Well, she did a lot of, of educating, um, particularly with, for example, if you had a teenager who wanted to become a babysitter, oh. then all of the things that would be very helpful to know um, and getting into certification for babysitting and that kind of thing. And then for new mothers and new parents, information about, um, about caring for a new baby, which as I'm sure everyone knows, can have its uh, challenges. So um, working at Women's and Children's Hospital, that was kind of the focus for women, um, families, okay. um, children, adolescents, that type of thing. So I got to know Rose then. I was a part of Women's and Children's at that time. And uh, we did some events together and health fairs and that type of thing. I immediately saw in Rose a woman who was so incredibly passionate and caring. And she wanted to get news and word out and education to as many uh, people as she could because she was so passionate about doing that and keeping everyone educated. So I was just drawn to Rose and her personality. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Rose, even um, since she's been facing her challenges, I don't think I've ever seen her without this beautiful, wonderful smile on her face. She is known for that and those beautiful blue eyes, too. And those beautiful eyes, too. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, I smile even though, you know, this time is a... a uh, challenging uh, situation, but I talked with her on the phone briefly this morning, and she still has that uplifting, motivational, encouraging voice no matter what, and that's what is wonderful. But I smile because she has been on the show several years ago, and she dressed up as Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> one of her characters that she goes out with. But I also ran into her as Mother Goose. Absolutely. At another event. So this lady really, really, really has given so much to the community she and has. made a lot of children smile. Yes, well, uh, moving on to, okay, so here you are, and that's how you met Rose. So now, what is happening? What is this uh, benefit? Tell us a little bit well, about it. Well, Rose was diagnosed about six weeks ago with stage three colon cancer. This came as a complete and total shock to Rose. She'd probably not been feeling totally up to par, but with that diagnosis it was just um, a real shock to her. So she's been through surgery and she has just begun her chemotherapy. And um, so as many of you probably know, going through a diagnosis of cancer 
has so many incredible challenges. Um, you're dealing with your work situation, you're dealing with your insurance coverage, you're de dealing with a lot of out-of-pocket expenses and so forth. Not to mention the uh, emotional trauma um, of dealing with an illness right. such as this. So, um, um, so Rose was, was, I guess, at first in a bit of a shock with it. And um, then, then her friends knew that we all knew, knew we needed to be there to support her every step of the way and uh, do whatever we could to um, bring her um, support and keep that beautiful positive spirit in place. Well, it's amazing how I found out about it was through someone who had been on my television show, but he had no idea that I already had, you know, come in contact with Rose. But Rose, as we were talking earlier, represents so many people. And like you just said, and you mentioned in, in a little detail, there's other families going through this too. And, but what about outlets? I mean, everyone's being affected, like you said. So you had mentioned an outlet where people maybe could go check out a web page or something and get more information regarding uh, cancer and the different things maybe. Sure. Would sure. you like to share that there, verbally? Yeah, there are, there are many uh, websites that give information about cancer. There's American Cancer Society, right. the ACS website, which certainly has um, a tremendous amount of uh, information. There's the National Health Institute, which also has a lot of information about cancer as well. There are many local uh, local um, facilities right. and agencies that really certainly can help. We're very fortunate to have an American Cancer Society um, here in Acadiana and they do a lot to help um, families and survivors going through cancer. Well let's kind of uh, pick up the encouraging part about what's going to be taking place and what's going to be happening at this event coming up soon Sunday, October 25th. And we definitely want to remind people that they can check out what web page? Our are... web page that's the Rose Hoffman Cormier Benefit. Um, you can find that on, on Facebook. Um, okay. Facebook uh, information about uh, the Rose Hoffman Cormier Benefit. Uh, it will be at the Blue Moon Saloon, which is just a great fun place anyway. <laughs> Always lots of fun. There are going to be a couple of bands there, Sudi, from uh, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And those bands are the Misho Corville Band and the High Heel Sneakers. <laughs> so, gee, that sounds like fun, doesn't I know, it? Already, huh? <laughs> already fun. <laughs> and of course, um, there will be a silent auction available with many local artists participating, jewelry and artwork. Um, I think UL even has a great UL gift basket that will be a part wow. of that auction because you know Rose uh, is very dear to the UL alumni and to the UL community. She's an unbelievable supporter of UL and uh, does so much work for them. Okay, <clears throat> for those people who do not know anything about the Blue Moon uh, uh, Saloon, it has opened its doors to showcase a lot of local youth bands that I'm so excited to get that exposure. And they seem to get really involved in the community if there's a need. But I want to encourage anyone that decides to check it out or attend that if you're not able to attend, then maybe you would like to make a donation and therefore you can always check out the uh, Facebook benefit page and find out how you can be a part of this. I know, Absolutely. for example, I fit in that category at this time. Okay, but meanwhile, I want people to know, hey, it is at a location that you may have to park somewhere and you may have to walk, but there's a lot of great areas mm -hmm. that you can go. And with that time schedule, you're not charged parking fees after four or five o'clock. Right. So that's a good right. thing. Right. So we right. want people not to give be, up if right. you want to attend, find a spot. It's and a this good will cost. be on a Sunday afternoon. So usually parking might be a little bit easier. Yes. And the good news is most of your favorite 
football teams will have already played. So you've been through the football <laughs> for the day and you can go out and have a little fun. Well, it already sounds like fun and, and you mentioned the bands. Oh, what kind of food? Oh, there's going to be a jambalaya available mm, for mm -hmm. everyone. So um, that's going to be nice and yummy, too. Well, that's going to be yeah. perfect timing, especially at that time. Huh? Sure, sure. I hear we may have a little bit of a cooler weather that day. So the jambalaya would be absolutely perfect. Jambalaya is good any time. Yes. It really yes. is. Indeed. It really is. Indeed. Well, I do want to, I'm excited about, you know, if everybody does a little bit, then a little bit shared with somebody else does a little bit more. And, and, and just like posting and helping and sharing on Facebook. Well, I, I say this a lot in, in my different shows. I have a big mouth, and that is my gift. <laughs> so if I can't get out there personally, I can sure run the mouth. And I love sharing when there's good things. I love what's going on in the communities. I love telling people what's going on. There's so many awesome things in this area going on and it's amazing how people will come out and support the Absolutely. need no matter how strapped we are i fell in love with katiana 48 years ago and i'm still here you know well i left but i certainly came back because i knew what Acadiana <laughs> had to offer <laughs> And it's a totally different world just from here to Shreveport, Louisiana. I promise oh, it, you. Oh, definitely. Totally. I live in Shreveport, too. <laughs> city. So, and it's like a totally different world. Totally different. Totally and, and different I just, world. The, the love connection. But that's going to be a blessing in times like this. And as you know, lots of fundraisers happen in in our area and in, a, and in the surrounding towns and things right. like that. And, you know, it doesn't matter... You know, it doesn't matter what you give. It's it's little or large or whatever. It's being there because the, the most important thing is to be there and to support someone who's really made a difference in this community That's and right. perhaps in your life. She's probably touched so many lives in this community through the work that she's done. Well, I will tell you that with a brief conversation, because I was only contacting her to make sure we had all our things together, find out what we were going to be working with. And I was out of town, so I had not seen her post to me earlier. So I was responding a little later than usual. And uh, in the conversation, she said she was just amazed at the people that had reached out to her and how that had made such a difference to know that many people took that time to notify her either on Facebook or send an email or even make the phone call. And that has really, and that's what's good. That's excellent. Love can do a whole lot. Abs oh, you better Love believe it. Love can do a whole it. lot. That is very true. And, and I, I think so many people, when they've learned of, of Rose's diagnosis, you drop things and you say, I'll be there. That's right. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll do whatever I can. That's right. And I, I believe you're absolutely right. That gives so much support. That picks up um, um, the spirit and, and lets that person know, I'm there for you. Well, I also shared with her, and I wanted to share with you. Um, I told her, I said, Rose, I said, I, I need to share something with you. I have a dear friend that when she was many years ago diagnosed with for colon cancer in the fourth stage, she is still doing great today. I did not, you know, go into detail as far as, you know, she has a colostomy bag, but she's the most positive person. But I had asked this person to keep Rose in prayer. And when I shared what I shared with Rose, how this other friend of mine is so mo motivating, then she is going to try to become friends with her on Facebook because this lady, listen, she is so positive that even anybody negative around this person becomes mm -hmm. cheerful. And I think that they're combining together with like-minded people, understand. And yeah. I saw a post on Facebook where Rose was talking to another awesome lady, Judy Dunn. And I, I just thought that, that was amazing, too. Mm -hmm. And that's another mm -hmm. person who has an awesome encouraging personality so I really believe that these ladies are going to have the best of the well, best. Well and it does help I think to um, to talk with others who are going through a similar experience right, right. because you can share um, your feelings, your emotions 
and um, sometimes you may not be able to share that with right. just anyone. So I think I think it's great to develop that support from other survivors um, who who are facing that journey and who who are feeling like I want to not lose this hope I have for a, an excellent outcome. Who really understand? Yes, and who really understand? Who really can understand and know what you're really saying? And people mean well. But if they haven't really been in those situations, sometimes you just say the wrong thing, but not meaning to say the wrong thing. But being the kind of person that that uh, Rose is, she would still know that they meant well. Oh, absolutely. The right heart. The absolutely. Right heart, you know? Absolutely. So I was, uh, I was, uh, haven't been able to really talk with a lot, but I have been keeping up with her, and and then I find out about you know this information, and I told her I'd like to be able to do what I can. So she said she appreciates everything, of course. Well, let's go back to you. You are one of her many friends, okay? And you have been working in this area, you said, for years as far as mm -hmm. oncology and all of this, mm -hmm. okay. I've been in, in cancer care, oh, I hate to say how long, 35 years probably. Well, amen. Um, but I love what I do. I too am very passionate about the work that I do. Um, I see a uh, diagnosis of cancer virtually on a daily basis, and I do understand um, the impact that it has on an individual and on families. And um, mm. they're just, they're just don't ever seem like there are enough resources there to help families. Um, I didn't mention Sudi earlier, but uh, the Miles Perrette Cancer Services yes. does an amazing job uh, with working with all types of cancer patients. Yes. yes, They have so many resources that support patients, so if that's another, certainly another uh, resource for patients, the Miles Perrette Cancer Services. I am glad you brought that up. Because um, um, about three years ago, the first director that was uh, part of this team, he and I were invited to go out there, and we uh, had permission to do some filming. And, of course, we knew what we should show, what we couldn't show. And it was where families, and I mean, of all ages, children of all ages, and that was so heart-touching. But it was so awesome of the support and the laughter and, and all of that, and they had a picnic, and I forgot what the day was, a celebration of, more or less, was celebrating a lot of stuff, but they were mm -hmm. there, and mm -hmm. they were so happy, and, and some, you know, were newly diagnosed, some were, you know, cancer-free, so they were lifting mm -hmm. each other up, and yes, that is an awesome outlet. It is awesome. But and we don't know what we need to look for unless something hits home. Oh, that's right. You know, and that's, that's when right. you find out all, and all of, of these And all of a sudden things. you start scurrying to that's say, right. Right. who can I turn to, what can I turn to? Um, and, and, you know, and there are local services that can really help you. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention, Sudi, is that we're very fortunate in Lafayette to have the amazing medical centers that we have. Yes. You know, we have... Uh, at both of the major hospitals, we have cancer centers uh, providing chemotherapy as well as radiation therapy, and um, and it the services provided are these same services that you will get if you go to another area, thinking, well, I need to go somewhere else and get treated. We have those services here. A very um, very professional, very um, expert, the experts here. So I just want everyone to understand that too. We're very blessed in the Lafayette we community are. to have the, the cancer specialists that we do. So um, just a reminder of that because I think the first thing people think is, I've got to go somewhere Way else. Way out of town. Way, mm -hmm. Yeah, wherever. Mm -hmm. But um, we really do have those services here. Well, I have had several people I'm very close to that have uh, had some trials with cancer. And so I do appreciate anything that is out there that can give comfort or educate 
or just send us all in the right direction or mm -hmm. even how to maybe be there in whatever way we can for the person of need, maybe just listening to them or maybe run an errand for them. Who knows? I know one particular person said, Sidney, I just need one favor. I'm, I was, I'm a retired hairdresser. And she said, I just need for you to, uh, if you would think about it, come to the hospital and shampoo my hair. I haven't had a good shampoo like you shampooed. Well, I didn't have a traveling tray or nothing, but I find out at the hospital they do. So I got to shampoo her Perfect. hair. Perfect. And then I, Perfect. I got all kinds of invitations to be hired there because when everybody else saw what she looked like before and then saw what she looked like <laughs> after, then they came in and decided to make offer over. me a job. <laughs> and it was like, wow, you know, that was a blessing, and that is a need. Yes. Of course, later I find yes. out they did install a beauty shop in the hospital, nice. local. Nice. I don't know if it's still there. That's great. But I know that I could have sure stayed busy if I didn't have a full-time job. Yeah, sure. But it, what was so rewarding, that was something I could do. Right, right, Take exactly. Take time and go and shampoo some hair. And when I became very ill, okay, with another situation, I begged my daughters, would you please shampoo my hair? It's nothing better than a clean head, whether you get it styled or not. And I can remember that feeling, how it felt so good. Yeah, and she so said, Mom, good. I said, well, you know, we're too proud sometimes to ask. You know? That's right. You know? That's right. And so we're we don't. So, as women, we're so used to taking care of everyone everybody else. Everybody else. And, you know, we don't always say, oh, I'd, I'd like a little pampering, too. Another, uh, another thing that I've heard people do that I think is so welcome is go in and just clean your house a little bit. You yes, know? yes. Kind of pick things up and maybe vacuum a little bit or dust a little bit. Um, I think that makes you feel so much better after you've been through a treatment or whatever and you come home to a nice fresh home. Um, I think that's a little something that people can do that um, makes a big difference as well. Well, boy, is, I tell you what, just when I think I have enough ideas for shows, I'm getting more. <laughs> and sitting here, uh, my mind is like, yes, when I was sick, wow, yes, you know, somebody would have come in and just dust mop the floor. You know, that would have been great, you know. It would be great to start some volunteer services to do all those that's things. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yay. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm serious. I get the best ideas while I'm interviewing somebody or you're sharing. I'm serious. That is that is a need. Yes. Because I was, be I was down and in a wheelchair almost two years. And so, but I can wow. still run my mouth. But in between, let's just say this. I'm an, I am a survivor of a massive heart attack. Operating on 25% of a heart, but I'm operating the rest of it on God. So he's made a way where it seems to be no way. So I know I believe in miracles still. Yes. And the whole Absolutely. point is that's, that's what they need. We need a volunteer to coordinate with someone and let them know these services are available. Hello. Mm -hmm. I will get to work on that. I will need <laughs> your you telephone number and everything to contact you and not just Bud right. Rose. I love it. I love it. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, I can even go for this and go for that. that. Hey, I would love it. I'm serious. Great. It Great. is a need because when I finally did, I was able to get back up and on my own, which was a miracle period, uh, I can see when you're talking, that would, would have made a huge difference because I was a fanatic. I didn't want dust, but I couldn't do it. Nobody volunteered. Oh, to come oh. do it, my kids. Oh, <laughs> nope. They were doing what they were doing their thing. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and just yeah. you know, I mean, if but you look know. how many people are retired but are still active. Yes, um, good. Or stay-at-home moms who could who want to take a little bit of time just to get out right. and do some other things so really 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 yeah. really you and I just gonna have oh, to make yeah. an appointment to get we'll, together we're gonna well, you know I know busy. that they kind of showed me a few minutes ago how much time we got left and uh, by this time I'm sure we're looking at maybe four minutes if that much left in the show okay so we definitely want to remind everybody take a good look at that uh, background that we have and that is Rose Hoffman Cormier now I ask her one day why she always says Rose Hoffman Cormier? Well, there's a bunch of others out there, and that's why it's easier to, for her reason, to stick that Hoffman she in She wants there. to be Different. Rose Hoffman Cormier. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, I mean, you, and she wants you to say it. We love you, Rose. I know you're going to be watching you, this Rose. soon. Love you. We do. We love you. Love you. But, I mean, it's your fault that we're like this. That's what you made us. <laughs> right. But uh, the Rose Hoffman Cormier benefit is taking place this Sunday. 
October 25th from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Blue Moon Saloon on 215 East Convent Street here in Lafayette, Louisiana. And of course, if you're interested, just check out the Facebook page and from there, type in exactly the Rose Hoffman Cormier Benefit. Correct. And it's going to come up and you can find out all, more about all the wonderful food and bands and things like that. So we are definitely getting to the end of the show now. We're ready to close. And so I want to thank everybody that is tuned in. We're now on Monday nights instead of Tuesday nights, every Monday night at 9 p.m. And listen, it just might be you or even, again, Linda Rose sitting here, who is the friend of a Rose, which I think that is awesome. And, you know, that's going to trigger a whole lot of different things. And I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Sue. And uh, we will be thank sharing you. a copy with you and Rose of this show. Perfect. And as the rolling credits are coming down, if there's anything you'd like to say? Just a reminder, uh, Blue Moon Saloon, Sunday, tw the October 25th, 4 to 8. Please come by. Have a lot of fun. Help us celebrate uh, the gift of life and Rose's life that she might keep moving forward in a very strong way. So, have a blessed day. Remember, tune in.